All right, so I got a pickup today, or something. Um, got something in the mail. Uh, this is the Retron 5. Uh, it's the gray version. I couldn't get the black one. I wanted the black, but couldn't get it. Um, this is um, blah, blah, blah. Hyperkin's all-in-one kind of console place cartridges um, on the TV. If you're wondering why I would be posting this on here, well, I cover Android. This blurry screen. Come on, stop blurring. All right, but it uses Android. It runs Android. Um, I wish it would stop being a blurry mess on the fucking. There we go. Um, better, not perfect. Never friggin'. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, it plays cartridges and does not have a million wires like the original systems. Now, I have the original systems. I plan on getting rid of them because um, I just they collect dust. They sit around because they have so many wires and things, and it's just too much. And not only that, but if I want to use it on my HD television, it looks like crap. And I wish this would just focus. Nexus 7, piece of crap. Focus. Although the Nexus 7 isn't really a piece of crap, but whatever. Uh, now, of course, I have the Ouya. The Ouya can play ROMs. There's a there's a, um, a device that you can get, kind of an adapter that allows you to pop in cartridges and stuff like that. It's out of production now. The um, person who makes it no longer makes them. I'm sure you can get a hold of them, but um, there is no NES support for that adapter. And uh, But it does do N64, which this does not. Uh, but if you have a pile of cartridges that you have laying around and you want to at least play some cartridges, uh, they were mine were collecting dust. But I wanted to be able to, I thought it would be cool to be able to pop the cartridges in and actually play them on the TV and so I don't have to get rid of my cartridges or anything like that. Keep some of the nostalgia going there or whatever instead of just using ROMs. So uh, it plays. Uh, old games up to 720p. You can use filters. Um, it looks really nice on the TV. Uh, it's hmm. I've upgraded it. The firmware is upgraded. I wish there was internet on this thing so you could upgrade it automatically. It's running Android. I don't see why it couldn't do that. So they couldn't have some kind of Wi-Fi antenna and have it upgrade automatically. But you have to go to your PC, and this thing is blurry again. There you go. Uh, you have to go to your PC and uh, put in SD cards and all this other stuff. It's a little bit of an annoyingly complicated um, update process. But it, it, once I'm done, it's updated, all that. Now there's a controller for this thing, for this thing, it's a piece of garbage, basically. I mean, it works, you can use it, it's very uncomfortable to use, and um, hard with some games, uh, so yeah. So, yeah, that's the controller. You can use the original controllers with this, though, that's the good thing. Downside is, because it's playing on an HD television, three HDMI cables, light gun games are not going to work unless this Hyperkin comes up with some kind of workaround light gun type thing where it's like using mouse, like a mouse thing to uh, play on the TV, um, then that's not going to work. Other Bluetooth controllers, Android controllers will not work with this. So there are quite a few downsides. If you just want to play ROMs or whatever, I don't recommend this. In fact, you can't play ROMs on it as far as I'm aware. Uh, the Flash cards for the Sega Genesis and things like that don't work. In fact, that's I got this used, and the person selling it didn't want it because he wanted to load up flash cards onto uh, the uh, what the hell they call that thing that Genesis. Um, one of my subscribers uh, has that thing. Um, I don't know, but he wanted to load it up onto onto an SD card and play ROMs off of it. And it does not support that uh, for anti-piracy measures and all that crap. Uh, whatever. I don't. I got it to play cartridges, so 
if I want to play ROMs, I, I have my Ouya here. I can load. I have it loaded up with like ROM entire ROM sets, so I don't give a shit about that for me. I just I honestly don't even understand what. I, there's only one purpose I can think of to put ROMs on this thing, and that's if you want to. Okay, I want to play cartridges, and I also want to play some rare imports that are very expensive. I understand that, but as far as just by having the cartridge and then putting it here and loading it up with ROMs, I would have to really recommend getting an Ouya if you just want a simple console that's on your TV, optimized for the television, or the controller, and all that. You know, get an Ouya. It's cheaper. It does more. Whatever. But are you bored with me? Apparently I'm bored. It, it, the uh, console is very emotional and is upset that thinks that I'm bored with it. Uh, Okay. Um, yeah. So go, at least it tells me that I cannot show it and not have it show me that you know windy screen again. Anyways, so yeah, what I was getting to was yeah, if you're looking to buy ROM, if you're looking to play ROMs easily on the television, uh, Ouya, no hacking required. That's awesome. Or if you want to hack something, Xbox Three, uh, no, Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, Xbox Original. Doesn't do a bad job of getting ROMs on your television and playing with a controller, um, and it's only you can get one for twenty bucks. Uh, yeah, so so far all the games I've played, I've tried out, have worked. Uh, one game that that told me it uh, did not recognize the card that said unknown cartridge was this game, NHL ninety one. It. Uh, it said it didn't recognize it. It's one of my favorite Sega Genesis games, even though I'm not a big sports fan. You know, I'm like one of those wusses. I don't like sports much. I don't like playing sports. I'm very kind of hyper, but I like playing sports. But, um, no, uh, yeah. What was I getting at? Oh, that, that game, it told me unknown cartridge and, um, focus oh, piece of crap. But I was still able to play it. Uh, so you could just hit, you know, give you a message. Do you want to play this? Whatever the hell it is. And I was able to play it. It was fine. It played perfectly fine. Just told me you didn't know what the hell it was. Um, played Virtual Racing Network. I had to insert the cartridge about like four times to get it to read the cartridge. Uh, I think that's the card ports. They're a little funny. Um... When I first heard that the card ports were tight, I always, I have other clone consoles, uh, one, or had, one was the Retron 3, that was a piece of crap, it was terrible, uh, it broke in, like, a week, and so I hope this experience is a little better <laughs> than that. So far it's been fine, but I've only had it for, like, probably under an hour, tested games, everything works. Even my um, Aladdin cartridge, it's a little iffy. <laughs> uh, that works. Uh, it's, like I said, I played virtual racing. Um, well, the graphics looked a little funny on that, though. Uh, the sound was fine, but the graphics on the bridge and things, I don't know if it's normally like that. I don't think so. It looked funny, but the game played. Um, the controller worked fine with that too. Actually, I liked it better with that controller. Everything controlled better. It seemed to. It seemed to. Uh, Mortal Kombat games on the SNES I played; those were fine. So yeah, I'll, 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 I'm gonna get into some gameplay. I think I'll do some versus the Ouya type videos and stuff. So all that's good. And I'm actually today I will be going to. I can't not go to here. I'm going to be going to. There's a. Um, a retro store, a retro gaming store. It used to be, apparently, used to be called um, Play and Trade, um, but I guess they changed the name of their store. So it's something else. We'll figure out when I get there. I'm not going to be recording myself there. I just don't have the balls to be walking around with a camera, going, "Ooh, here's a game, and this is this," and you know, I feel stupid doing that. But you know, I like when other people do it because you know. I enjoy those videos. It's just I don't have the balls to do that. All right. 
So that's the end of this video, and I will be just simply uploading this. And uh, I think I'm going to head out, get something to eat. Uh, I need to do a few things, and I'm going to be picking up some retro games because I don't have anything for the Game Boy Advance or for the original Game Boy or Game Boy Color, and I believe this works with all that. And there are a few games I'd really like to play. Although I, I think it's better off that you play those games on a portable. But some people actually prefer to just play everything on the TV. So you know, people end up missing games because they want to play them on the TV. So there are some cool portable games out there. And if you don't like playing on portables, you know, it would be cool to plug in a couple of those games and play them on your television. And of course, also if you're worried about piracy or something, I'm not. If you are worried about piracy, you know, you can have legit cards and play them on your television. And uh, through emulation, it is emulation. So I don't care about that. I care about accurate, more accurate... Uh, I care about it being somewhat accurate. I don't. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. I'm not like a purist where I wouldn't be sitting here playing this stuff with emulation. And, um, yeah, I actually prefer emulation over the, the real thing, so... Yeah, the real thing does not, you know, put any magic sauce in my butthole. <laughs> um, and that's that. It's still asking me if I'm bored with it. Nope, not quite. I wouldn't be sitting here recording this. I just need more games. Um, and I think I'll start uh, collecting now, like I used to. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. That's that, and I will be doing some gameplay. See ya.